Namaste everyone and welcome back to this full body dynamic flow class. This is a minimum cue class. So wherever you find things difficult, I would highly recommend re-watching it and then practicing rather than doing anything with wrong alignment which could potentially lead to injuries. Feel free to modify postures with the use of a couple of blocks and maybe a strap handy. And let's get started by coming on to our force. Keeping shoulder width distance between your palms and hip width distance between your knees. On your next inhale, you turn your right palm around so the top of the palm faces the mat with your fingers facing your knees. Inhale, begin to drop your abdomen to lift your chest and chin. Exhaling to curl into your spine, chin to your chest. Inhaling to arch. Exhaling to curl. Inhaling back to neutral spine. Exhale, you press your hip towards the back. Inhaling to center. Exhale to release. Let's repeat the same thing onto the other side. So you turn your left palm around. Inhaling to arch. Exhaling to curl. One more time. Inhale. Exhaling to curl. Inhaling to neutral spine. Exhale, you press back. Inhaling back to center. Exhale, slowly release. Now gently tucking your toes under, lift your knees to press back into your down dog. Feel free to bend one knee at a time to move your hips from side to side. Inhale and exhale. Now on your next inhale, begin to lift high up onto your toes. And as you exhale, you press in between your hands. You're sinking in between your hands. You draw your abdomen towards your thighs. Then inhale, you start to tiptoe forward. Drawing your big toes together, heels slightly apart. Inhale, you lengthen your spine. Deep breath out to fold. Let's go again. Inhale. Exhaling to fold. Micro bending into your knees, chin to your chest, curling into your spine. Slowly begin to roll yourself up. Inhaling, circling your hands over your head. Inhale, hands at your heart center. Take a deep breath in. And deep breath out. On your next inhale, you circle your hands over your head, turning your gaze up, exhaling to fold forward and down. Inhaling, halfway lift. And this time you lift your left leg up. Feel free to use blocks under your palms if you're unable to reach, but work on lengthening your spine while you continue to straighten out your right leg. And as you exhale, you step back. Gently drop your left knee down, turn the sole out, inhaling to crescent. Exhaling, palms down. Tucking your toes under, you lift the knee, option to step back, lowering down knee, chest, chin, or you can lower down in low plank if that's in your practice. Inhaling to cobra or upward facing dog. Exhaling to down dog. Drawing your feet together or slightly apart. Your feet will be together if you're doing mountain pose. On your next inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, you step your right foot in between your bum so that your right chin is perpendicular to the mat. Drop the back knee, turn the sole out, inhaling to crescent.
And as you exhale, you release your right palm towards the side and gently lean to your right. Inhaling back to center, exhale half splits. Straightening out your right, bend your left and fold. Inhaling back to center. This time you place your left palm in line with your left shoulder, bending into your right knee. Tuck your left toes under, lift the knee to twist your right. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, you turn all your toes to your right to drop your palm back. Inhaling to circle. And you go standing on your right leg. Exhale, step your left foot forward and fold. Inhaling to circle your hands over your head. Let's repeat the same thing onto the other side. Exhale to fold. Inhale, you lengthen your spine and this time you lift your right leg up. Slowly now, step the foot back. Gently drop the back knee, turn the sole out. Inhale, Chandrasan Crescent. Exhaling, palms down. Tucking your toes under, lift the knee. Option to lower down knee, chest chin or low plank. Inhaling to Cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog with feet apart or Parvatasana with feet together. On your next inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step the foot forward. Gently drop the back knee down the sole out. Inhale to crescent. And this time, slowly lean to your left. Inhaling to center, exhale, Ardha Hanumanasan, half splits. On your next inhale, halfway lift. This time taking your right palm in line with your right shoulder. Starting to bend into your left knee. Tuck your right toes under. Lift your right knee to twist your left. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, turn all your toes to your left to drop your palm back. Inhaling to circle and this time you go standing on your left leg. Exhale, step the foot forward to fold. Inhale to circle your hands over your head. Exhale, you lean to your right, stretching out the left side of your body. Inhaling to center. Exhale to the other side. Inhale to center. Exhaling to fold forward and down. 
Inhale, halfway lift to lengthen your spine. Exhale, step, hop, jump back to lower. Inhaling to cobra or up dog. Now option to go into down dog or you could lower down in low plank to press up and back downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and deep breath out. On your next inhale, onto your toes to turn your gaze forward, bend your knees, step hop, jump forward, halfway lift, lengthen your spine, exhaling to fold. Slowly bend into your knees, this time to rise in chair, Utkatasan. Now option from Utkatasana to go straight away back into down dog or from here we'll try floating in Crow Kakasana if that's in your practice. So two feet distance from the top. Take a deep breath in. Exhaling palms down. Opening your fingers wide. Lift onto your toes. Bend your knees. Bend your elbows. Knees onto your tricep. Transferring your weight forward. And now slowly step up, jump back to lower. Inhale to cobra or up dog. Exhale, adhom khushvanasan, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, pivot your left foot to 45 degrees angle. And then slowly lift your right leg up. Turning your right toes towards the side. And if you're okay here, see if you can release your left palm and grab hold of your left ankle. Inhale, release your left palm. Slowly step your right foot forward to rise up, warrior one. Inhale and exhale here. Moving into humble warrior, you take your palms behind to interlock your fingers, lift the chest. Exhale to fall towards your foot. Inhale to slowly begin to lift up. And as you exhale, you place your palms down, drawing your left foot onto your toes. Now option to scoop back into three-legged down dog or three-legged dolphin, for which you lift your right leg up, elbows down. Avoid sinking in between your shoulders or letting your elbows slide out. On your next inhale, either press up or scoop forward and down to take your vinyasa and meet me in down dog. On your next inhale, you pivot your right to 45 degrees angle and gently lift your left leg up. Option to stay here or see if you can hold on to your right ankle with your right palm. Now slowly release your right palm onto the mat. Exhale, step your left foot forward. Inhale to rise up, warrior one. Taking your palms behind you, interlock your fingers to lift the chest. Exhale, humble warrior.
inhaling to lift up exhale slowly place your palms down slide your left leg up elbows down three like a dolphin two and one either press up or scoop forward and down inhaling to cobra up dog exhaling to down dog Taking a deep breath in and deep breath out. On your next inhale, onto your toes to turn your gaze forward, bend your knees, step up, jump forward. Inhale, halfway lift, exhaling to fold. Bending into your knees, inhale, chair. And as you exhale, you twist your right. Placing your left palm down, gently straighten out your right, lift your left leg up. Twisted half moon. Then slowly step your left foot to meet the right, bend your knees to rise in chair. Exhale, twist to your left. This time, placing your right palm down, straighten out your left, lift your right leg up. Again, bending into your knees, drop your right foot next to your left, lift up in chair. And exhaling to fold. Inhaling to lengthen. Exhale, step up, jump back to lower. Inhaling to cobra or up dog. Exhaling to down dog. Taking a deep breath in. And deep breath out. Now slowly begin to walk your palms towards your feet. Then gently opening your toes towards the outside, heels in, gently sit down in Malasan. Deep breath here, inhale and exhale. Last two breaths. Beautiful. Now releasing your palms, walking your feet in so that they are hip width distance apart. See if you can grab hold of your big toes. Inhaling, you lengthen your spine. Exhale to fold. Padangustasan. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, release to walk your palms forward. Take a deep inhale. And deep exhale. On your next inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, you step your right foot in between your palms. Gently drop your left foot down so that it's battling to the back side of the mat. Inhaling to warrior two. Slowly lean back, reverse warrior.
and exhale, extended side angle, Uthita Parshva Konasan. Inhaling to lift up and this time Skandasan towards your left leg, side squat. Deep breaths here, inhale and exhale. Now take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, this time we are turning towards the back. So basically you're lunging onto your left leg. And from here, inhale, you go standing on your left leg. Exhaling, gently bend into your knees, drawing your right foot forward to come into a seat. Inhale, right hand lifts. Exhale, you twist your left. Vakrasan, seated twist. Inhale, you turn your gaze forward, exhale to release. Dropping your left shin forward, right leg goes back. For pigeon, inhale, you lift the chest, exhale forward and down. Beautiful. Inhale, you walk up, placing both your palms in line with your shoulder, tuck your right toes under and you draw your left knee in towards the chest, tiger curl. Then inhale, shoot the leg back or step back to lower down, take your vinyasa and meet me in downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and deep breath out. On your next inhale, left leg lifts. Slowly step the foot in between your palms. Drop your right foot so that now it's parallel to the front side of the mat. Inhale, warrior two, Virabhadrasana. Focusing on external rotation of your left thigh here. Inhale, reverse warrior, lean back. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhaling to lift up. And this time you squat towards your right leg, Skandasan. Take a deep breath in. And now slowly turn your body towards the front. So now you're lunging onto your right leg. Take a deep inhale. And now slowly lift up onto your right leg. And then bending both your knees, you draw your left leg forward to come into a seated twist. Inhale, left hand lifts. Exhale, twist to your right.
inhaling to turn your gaze forward exhale release and this time drop your right shin forward left leg goes back inhaling to ekapada rajkapotasan pigeon pose Inhale slowly, begin to lift. Placing your palms in line with your shoulders, tuck your left toes under. Inhale, right knee in. And from there, option to step back or float the leg to take your vinyasa. Inhaling to cobra up dog. Exhaling to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And deep breath out. On your next inhale, onto your toes to turn your gaze forward. Bend your knees, step up, jump through to come to seated and you lie down onto your back. You have two options. You can either go for bridge pose or wheel pose. So if you're doing bridge, your hands are by the side of the body with your palms turned down and then you lift your pelvic to take your hands under. If you're going for wheel, your palms are next to your face, taking a deep breath in, slowly press your torso up. slowly release walking your feet towards the outer edges of the mats gently drop your knees in towards each other And now we'll be going into Halasan Pluff pose just for a few breaths as a counter to wheel pose or bridge that you've just done. However, if you do not know how to do it, I would highly recommend first watching and then replaying and doing it with me because when you are in the pose, you do not want to be moving your neck. You want to keep your head completely straight and neutral. So if you've never done before, just quickly watch. Drawing your feet together, straight legs, hands by the side of the body. On my next inhale, lift the legs to 90 degrees. From here, taking my legs behind the head, take a deep, deep breath in and slowly drop back. Then work on drawing your tailbone up, walking your toes further back. Inhale and exhale. Work on keeping your legs, your legs straight at the knees. And then once you're done, slowly begin to lower your back onto the mat so that your legs are at 90 degrees and then exhale, gently release your legs down. Preparing for Shavasan. Keeping comfortable distance between your legs, hands by the side of your body, palms turned up towards the ceiling. And allowing yourself to rest and relax. Slowing down any wandering thoughts.
and avoiding from analyzing those thoughts. Let it simply come and pass. But you keep your entire awareness onto your breaths. Noticing the natural rhythm of your breathing as you inhale and exhale. Now turning your awareness inwards towards all the felt sense deep within and consciously scanning through your body from your toes towards the crown of the head, guiding each and every part of the body to relax itself completely. Now feel free to stay here a little longer or if you wish to roll out, beginning to wiggle your toes and fingers. Gently drawing your feet together, hands over your head and stretching out your extremities, taking a deep breath in. And exhale through your mouth. Keeping your eyes closed, gently turning onto your right side. And making your way up onto the mat in any seated position. So that your spine is upright, palms at your heart center, shoulders roll back, chest forward. Being grateful for today's practice, inhaling, taking your palms to your forehead, exhaling, bow forward. Inhale, gently begin to roll yourself up. And once you're ready, gently blink your eyes open. Thank you so very much for practicing with me today. If you've enjoyed this practice, leave your comment in the section below, like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also do check out the playlist on Vinyasa classes. You'll find plenty of them over there. You can also team these classes with Pranayam Technique, which is another playlist which I already have on my channel. So don't forget to check it out. Thank you.